today will be the first day that I give this a shot. Uh, I've never really played Yakuza before, so I've heard a lot of good things about this game. I hope everybody that does decide to join and watch or just stops in to take a look at it has a fun time. Pretty old dude and still love video games, so pretty sure that my reflexes are going to not fail me, hopefully, while I'm going through this, but... Either way, hopefully it'll bring everyone a few laughs if you do decide to watch this. And if not, still have a great day, everybody. Here we go. Let's see here for our settings. I'm old, so I need a little lighter so I can see everything. I will be playing the game with the English, uh, just to make it a little bit easier so I can try to talk to... Anybody that does happen to jump in, and I don't want there to be dead silence. I know that gets kind of boring and very awkward for both of us. I will be listening to the cutscenes so everybody can hear those as well when we get to them. Long have I waited for this day. I know you can't have forgotten my face. Do not pretend otherwise. Iaman was the name of the courtier you murdered in Suriga. That man was my father. You don't mean. You're that girl from before. I'm not that girl anymore. I am a vagrant on a quest for vengeance. Do you know how many times I've awoken in the night, having dreamt of drawing this dagger? Today, finally. My blade will have its due! Quiet! Men! Really enjoying the animations in these cutscenes. I remember back in the day playing Atari and it's basically Nintendo compared to what it is today. It's a huge, huge improvement. You actually believe I would ever let myself be cut down by a mere woman? I will teach you your place. For I am none other than the fearsome Ginji the Slasher, the legendary terror of Edo! beginning of this is definitely different than what I thought I'd be seeing um, from the little bit of information I'm aware of with Yakuza I'm kind of confused why it starts with a play but I'm sure it'll uh, Genji, the slasher is no make more sense as we go I. along did you see that father Even a subtle smile, you can see in the character's animation. Just briefly looking in the crowd, too, I like the fact that I didn't see a lot of the same models. Even had the grainy look to the poster. Interesting. Currently watching, I am playing on a Series X right now as well. Masumi! Did you finish cutting that confetti? She seems very pleasant. No. Not yet. Then what are you sitting around for? We leave for Osaka in the morning. <laughs> Look at you. You got the audience to its feet and suddenly you think you're a star? Wow. This kind of money is nothing. So don't let it go to your head. You ungrateful little brat. Don't you look at me like that. I can't believe this is how you treat your mother. Wow, that's your mom? Is she gonna cut you now? The next cut even deeper. 
And this time, not even your makeup will hide it. Yoko! Stop it! <laughs> Don't you dare try to order me around, Toshio. Who do you think keeps this whole damn show running? Apparently the evil woman does. I do like the metal Tell clanging I just heard from the scissors as well. That was a nice touch. Shall we go to Motomachi tonight? Hmm? Are you sure? <laughs> Who cares about all this? Are you okay, Masumi? Oh, wow, she does have a Don't worry about face. the confetti. Let me give you a hand. I should have time to finish it in the truck tomorrow. I may never be an award-winning actor, but I've always been a masterful confetti cutter. Every actor needs a backup plan. <laughs> <laughs> What do you say we hit the town tonight? See the sights of Yokohama. Just the two of us. Come on. Okay. Her voice sounded a little bit like a man there. Or maybe I heard it wrong. Very deep. A lot deeper than I expected anyway. Oh wait, it is a guy. Isn't that him there on the left? So, Masumi. Did you say goodbye to all your friends in Yokohama? I don't have any friends. What's the point if you switch huh. schools every month? Come on, don't be like that. You know, when I was your age, my parents wouldn't even let me go to school. At least you didn't hear the old story about how I had to walk up both hills, hey, going to school and coming home. Why don't we treat home. ourselves today? I know. How about Peking Duck, the king of Chinese food? The duck is dried in the sun, then roasted, and the skin comes out so crispy and delicious, you'll love it. If it's the king of Chinese food, it must be expensive. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. Indulging ourselves for one night won't break the bank. So is this other guy just an actor, or is that his real father? Whoa, Masumi. You're going to get full if you keep eating those, you know. Remember, these appetizers are just the bit players. The main course has yet to take the stage. Yeah, I know. I'm going to the bathroom before the star gets here. Unexpected. So is this scene. But here we are. Come on, man, wash your hands. Or why Dad? he's killed. So he was his father. Alright. Dad. Here we are, the, the last day of the 20th century.
And all I can think about is what I want for lunch. Hey, Ichi. I sent Ichi out to do collections. On New Year's Eve? If there's money on the streets and there's work to be done, Yakuza don't get holidays in Kamarocho. Life's a bitch. Then you die. He has a really shunny... Er, <laughs> can't even talk today. A sunny out position there to life. Must be the life of the party right there. You piece of shit! What? And get caught? Get fucked, you cum stain! Give up already! Okay, so this is what I'm playing as. Oh, the thrill of the chase. Navigate the city without bumping into obstacles by pressing the displayed inputs to catch up with your target. The distance gauge tracks how far away the target needs to get before you lose them. Uh, page 101. Alright, so... Let's see here. Let's see how bad I'm going to be at this. Hopefully not super... Oh, there we go. I had the reflexes when I was younger. Oh, wrong button. I have no clue what you just threw at me, but I'm still coming. Stop, damn it! Give up already! Oh, okay. I thought the game froze on us there for a moment. Uh, apparently not. VHS tapes. pal. I know you're not an idiot. Why did you think you'd get away with hawking this? There's nothing illegal about selling animal fuck videos. Believe me, it's educational. Oh, I believe well, That's you. just nasty. The problem is you were calling it uncensored porn and selling it to dumb, horny kids. Come on, Ichiban, do me a solid. Remember all the good times we had in middle school? And let's be real, it's not like this is hurting the Yakuza's bottom line. Actually, it is. Big time. Kids these days are entitled, man. They'll come bitching to the Arakawa family about porn scammers on our turf. We can't have that kind of shit staining our good name. So come on, cough up the cash you squeeze out of them. Dealing with? Of course not. Just some Yakuza street trash who's gotta learn when to quit. Guess I'll just have to kick your ass. Choices, choices. During battle, you will select which actions to take using the command menu in the bottom left corner of the screen. Select the attack command to attack when the weapon on hand, and give that a shot. Cool. Oh, here we go. Bottom left hand. Attack. If you can select the attack again before a fallen enemy gets back up, a regular attack will change into a powerful. <laughs> wow, I really can't talk today. Into a powerful opportune strike. Opportune strikes really dish out the pain, so take every chance you can get. And why not? Here we go. Cool. The red gauge at the bottom right is your energy. If Kasuga's HP reaches zero, it's game over. HP can be recovered by using items. Why not take this opportunity to take a bite of one of your onigiri? I'm probably going to butcher a lot of the names in this game. Any flavor will do. Items? Just in the middle of the fight, you're just going to have a bite. 
Alright, select guard for Kazuga to defend himself until his next turn. This will decrease the damage you take and protect against both bleeding and stun. If you know the enemy's next attack will be a powerful one, it might be best to put your guard up. Just a thought. Get some. Cool. And that's it for the tutorial. Time to teach Yushio a lesson. Oh, and one last thing. If there's ever anything like a bicycle or a street sign near an enemy, a normal attack will change into a weapon attack, leading one to use, or in some cases, kick the nearby object to unleash some serious hurt. That sounds pretty interesting. <laughs> There we go. That's how you do it. That didn't seem too rough. Job experience. I feel the stats going up. <laughs> All right, we leveled up. Tenacious fist. Ichiban <sighs> Aniki. You okay? Another oh. member of the gang. Hell yeah. Check this out, man. Whoa, payday! <laughs> that guy was pretty fucking loaded. Yeah, he was always coming up with crazy business schemes back in the day. Well, some of them must have worked. The cash you got there might hit our quota today all by itself. What are you talking about? We're gonna give this all back to those kids. Uh, after all the work we did to get it, man? Yeah, dude. Hold up. You want me to track down every single kid this guy shafted? For real? Yes, for real. What part of this is hard to understand? <sighs> Nothing. I get it. <laughs> so our character has a conscience yeah, and wants to do the right thing, it seems. But he's a gangster. Fucker got me with his brass knuckles. Yeah, you've got a good size lump there, dude. No, you idiot! I mean my hair! I just got it done! And it was looking real fresh, too. I can't believe this shit, stupid Ushio. Well, let me see if I can fix it. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. You just gotta, you know... Don't touch this! <laughs> I pay good money for this shit! I think this game may be more interesting than I assumed. Damn, I choked. Might be a lot of fun. I took a bunch of hits to the face. <laughs> You're mean, always getting a bunch pummeled of hits. there. I think you like it. Are you calling me a masochist? <laughs> Hell yeah. You always let him get some <laughs> punches in, even when you could wipe the floor with him. I know how you fight hard when you wanna. Yes, I do let him do that. Pretty masochist, if you ask me. Unless you're trained to become a pro wrestler or something. Okay, fine. I guess I can see how it comes across that way. Just to recap, I, I won't be doing a lot of talking during the cutscene so we can see what's going on with the story. For anybody that is watching. Hero? Sure. I pretend I'm a hero when I fight. So what? When it's time to throw down, okay, so this guy's delusional. thinking in Dragon Quest terms. Ugh. Again with the Dragon Quest? What's so great about it? Everything. It's an epic and dangerous journey, and that's exactly how I see real life. You do know you're a freaking Yakuza, right? If even one guy mm -hmm. gets a lucky hit and it's all over for you, you realize that, dude? How many times has Captain wow. Sawashiro told you that? I kill a guy over something as stupid as collections, that's when it's all over. Look, I like this life with Arakawa-san, the captain, and even your dumbass. I'm not gonna do anything to ruin that. The truth is... I never want to be at rock bottom again. Again? So, rock bottom was when you were cooped up in that Soapland office playing non-stop Dragon Quest? <laughs> Wouldn't be the man I am today without it. A cool guy, full of the bravery those games showed me. And what they didn't, Arakawa-san did. That's where you get all this hero crap, huh? huh. Maybe I should give this gamer shit a chance. To it, man. 
But first, let's give that money back to the kids who got scammed. Oh, <laughs> right. Is this going to be a side mission here to find the kids? Or is the other guy going to handle it? Well, time to give those kids some refunds. Thanks. Hit me up at the SIG shop when you're done. Sure. Oh, okay. Doesn't sound like we have to do it. So where are we hey, off to now? Ichi. Old man Takeo, how the heck are you? Good, good. Hey, did you know Mama Michio is looking for you? She wanted you to swing by. What's she need with me? No clue. I'm just the messenger. <sighs> What's she gotten herself into now? I guess we're about to find out. Duty calls. Let's see how this navig. Oh, okay. There's a little arrow on the mini map on the left. So I assume, which is always good to do, that's where we're headed. Okay, so that doesn't. Do I have a run? Okay, A runs. Here we go. I'm gonna head right over there because I don't really know what I'm looking for right now. So I assume to just go ahead and progress the beginning of the story. Right, so you just get close and automatically goes to the cut scene. Hey there, Ichi! You kept me waiting. Have a drink with me, will ya? It's New Year's Eve. Wait. Wow, she's Please drunk. don't tell me you were just looking for a drinking buddy. What? You were the only guy I knew who wouldn't have anywhere else to be on New Year's. Are you serious? I'm out here busting my ass making collections. Oh, well, look at you. So big and important. At least I'm not drunk. Hey, I've been drinking since before you were a twinkle in your dad's eye. And look at me now. <laughs> Still gorgeous. What? Don't know if I'd say all that. You look knocked out to me. Let's see, what do we want to do? Scold sternly or help her out? Mm. Let's be nice. Maybe Keep she's having a rough day. That. Your liver probably ain't so gorgeous. But keep it up, and your only drink's gonna be when they wash your grave. <sighs> I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> I do appreciate it. Kasuga's personality may improve depending on his actions. These traits represent Kasuga as a person, and refining them will earn him a slew of perks and bonuses, such as unlocking new features or characters to talk to. Okay, what do we got? Style, passion, confidence, charisma, kindness, intellect. Alright. Personality traits. The following are the six traits. What I just went through. Okay. You're back! What do you mean I'm back? You, you just me showed like up. Michio was just drunk off her ass. You're surprised? I haven't seen her sober in 20 years. Her and this town are just going to hell. Heck, there's some trouble at Shangri-La right now. Huh? What happened? I don't know the details, but you know how soap lands are. Yeah, maybe a customer got uppity with one of the girls. You ought to go check. Damn it! So this guy just randomly shows up to tell me where I need to go. Alright then. Let's see how many times I can spin around in the same circle. We didn't have to go for it. Ichi! Perfect timing. We've got a huge problem. What's wrong? The toilet's all clogged up and we can't find a plunger anywhere. The oh, wow. Plunger? Yeah, that thing you use when there's shit stuck in the pipes. Yeah, I know what it is, but come on! We're Yakuza, not your handyman! 
Well, excuse <laughs> me. I suppose it wasn't me who cleaned you up every time you shit yourself. I was a baby. Oh, you had accidents until fifth grade. One time. And my stomach was killing me that day. So I'm actually going to go get a plunger. I don't think I've ever played a game unless it was a Mario game where I was trying to be a plumber, but Mario never really plumbed anything that I can recall. Oh. Come on, you gotta pay your taxes. Yeah, yeah. A hooligan boss. What tax? New Year's Eve tax, buddy. I mean, cigs and beer have a luxury tax on them, don't <laughs> they? So good times in the New Year's cost a little extra too. Why would I pay that to you then? Just get out of your goddamn wallet. It's the lamest shit I've heard. Go. Get out of here, you little punks. Huh? Who the hell are you? I was just cruising by. It's New Year's. Can't you just let people chill tonight? Sorry, but we're open for business oh. on the holidays. So cringe inducing. So if you want to mess with our business, we'll just have to bust you up yours. Oh, pretty scary. Hello, life's like you give Kamarucha a bad name. And I'm not about to stand for that. Grr. Get out off your fucking high horse. Fuck it, let's kill this guy. Oh wow, this dude wants to kill me? That escalated very quickly. Select skills to unleash your special attacks. There are three types of skills. Attack, recovery, and support. On-screen prompts may appear during attack skills, which offer opportunities to deal extra damage by pressing X repeatedly or Y at the right time. Skills cost MP, mental points to activate, and your current MP can be seen as a green gauge at the bottom right. Keep an eye on it. Okay. Press B in time when an enemy's attack will perform a perfect guard. Decrease damage taken. You can perform a perfect guard anytime Kasuga is standing. Much like the guard command, the perfect guard will also defend against the bleeding stun effects to strive for perfection. Okay, that one's done. That one just snapped out of it. Okay. Definitely got to get used to this fighting system. This is different than what I've played before. Damn it, you're dead next time I see you. Okay, and they run off. <laughs> Thank you. No sweat, buddy. But for real, Kamaruchi is more dangerous than usual on New Year's. Everyone's drunk and waving their cash around. It's easy pickings out here tonight. So be careful, Hi. okay? I will. Thank you very much. I guess I better get that damn plunger from the lady at the cigarette shop. Alright, let's see where we're going. Okay, we are going the right direction at least. Right, right here. Sorry, excuse me, pardon me. A toilet plunger? Yeah. If you have one, could you run into Shangri-La? Just buy one for them. They raised you for crying out loud. 
A man your age should be sending money to his family anyway. <sighs> you think I can afford that? I'm barely scraping by as is. Well, then you need to leave that sorry Arakawa family and join a family with some real push, kid. Sure, you'd be their gopher for a while, but that'd still be better than how you're living now, right? You're an idiot. I swore an oath to Arakawa-san, and I never abandoned him. <laughs> Aren't you an obedient little dog? Hey, I heard something real cute about you. You're babysitting Arakawa's kid? Ha! Ichi the nanny! Hey, look, the young master's the same. Man, everybody age likes kid. messing with this guy. A kid. Young master? What is this? The 18th century? Besides, I'm not babysitting him. I'm his caretaker. He's been in a wheelchair since he was a toddler, you know? Oh, so he needs a big, strong Yakuza at his side every time he wants some fresh air? <sighs> Arakawa's going soft in his old age. Surprise, surprise. Hey. Try saying one more word about Arakawa, and see what happens. Hey, Aniki. Meeting a lot of new characters in the beginning of this game. Oh, so, did you give those high schoolers their money back? Yep. Never seen kids happier to see a Yakuza before. It all worked out. See, they ain't so bad. Dude, there's no reason to be happy about it. If we don't score big on our next job, the captain's going to kill us. I know that. What is our next job, anyway? It's a shakedown. Our mark borrowed 500k from a loan shark and hasn't paid back a single yen. And apparently, he's immune to Yakuza threats. But we thought we'd give it a shot, so we bought the loan. Well, let's go, man. The dignity of the Arakawa family is riding on us. <laughs> I hope that's not true. Hey, by the <laughs> way, Captain Sawashiro said to pull out all the stops to get this money back. So we might have to rough him up. All right, so where is this clown now? I hear he hangs out around Public Park 3 a lot. I'll go on ahead and scope it out. Meet me over there, okay? All right. Now, am I going to have to figure out where Public Park 3 is? Or is it going to give me a direction to get there? And I've got another direction, all right. <laughs> Really close to. Oh, Haniki. Is our guy here? Sure is. Look over there. Had a cutscene just to walk a block. That's Hiratsuka. <laughs> that dude, huh? Do you know Construction him? Worker? Forget it. Let's go. Hey there, Hiratsuka san. Enjoying a little break, are we? Having a smoke while you mooch your ass still owes a ton of money? Oh, you think we won't beat you to a pulp? That other family went easy on you, but we won't. The Arakawa family doesn't fuck around. If you don't want to get hurt, get out your wallet. Hey, you think I won't do it? I can't pay back what I can't pay back. That's all there is to it. I see you're still just coasting on your size, oh great Hiratsuka. How'd you know that nickname? Who the hell are you? Ah, oh, don't you remember, pal? We used to wrestle when we were kids. You thought it was so cool to power bomb other kids, as long as you were the only one big enough to do it. Oh, I remember. You're Soapy Ichi. And if this guy's your pal, that must mean. <laughs> You ended up in the Yakuza. Shocker. And I heard you joined the JSDF only to flunk out and come crawling back here. Life's a bitch, huh? Yeah, it is. So deal with it somewhere else. No can do, pal. We gotta deal with it right here. Cause we're Yakuza. See, Yakuza orders are mandatory. And my orders are to get your wallet. So hand it over. I told you. I don't have any money! Come on, great son. Let's make this easy. All I need is your wallet. I don't want to get rough with you. You understand, right? Huh. <laughs> you saying that even a grown-ass man is scared of my power bombs? Yeah, I'm saying I don't want to see the strongest guy in middle school tap out. Be a shame if that was your <laughs> peak. Huh. 
Sounds like Soapy Ichi needs to taste the dirt again. You want it so bad? Try and take it! Here we go! Tag match, Aniki! Not this time. You be the referee. I want him all to myself. Huh? <sighs> Quit jabbering and let's do this. Come on! Alright, I guess we're about to fight this big dude. You got a weapon? Come on now. Why do you get a weapon? Come on now! Check this out! Let's go! Cool! Oh wow. Uh let's see. Come on now. Hit him with this again. Check this out. That's how you do it. Wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be at all. Nice. And we leveled up again. I don't know if we get our health and the MP stuff back when we level up. You're still pretty strong. But not strong enough. Say goodbye to your wallet. Please, beat me up if that's what your boss wants. But don't take my money! Well, looky here. He did have the cash. This fucking lowlife had no intention of paying it back. Hey, wait. What are you doing? Aniki! Why? Just getting all the junk out of his wallet first, man. Looks more like money to me. All right, great son. Like I said, I only wanted your wallet. Huh? What oh. is wrong with this okay. guy? Okay, let's go, me too. We're gonna get killed by okay, our own gang. I am so confused right What's now. What's up with you? Why did you take the money? Here, Atsuka won't yeah. screw us. He'll pay it off if we just give him time. How you figure that? You think he's out here working his ass off, doing construction on New Year's Eve just for fun? Didn't you notice what he was smoking? It was just a nub, man. He obviously just picked it up off the ground. Why'd he do that if he had so much cash? Because it's New Year's. He probably wanted to buy his mom a nice meal, so he got some cash out of the bank, you know? That doesn't mean it's okay to be late on his payments. Look, you know that old candy shop just past Showa Street? Uh, yeah, it closed last year, right? What about it? Hiratsuka's mom ran that shop. Really? She closed it because she got sick. Real sick. I went to see her in the hospital, and she was thin as a rail. But even so, she was happy, because her son was back in Kamurocho, taking care of her. So, that money Hiratsuka borrowed was... It was all for her hospital bills. <laughs> oh. What so this do? guy's got a if we go back empty handed, Captain and Sawa he's in Zero's a gang gonna that kill kills us. people. We're not going back empty handed. We Makes me wonder how he got this gang. Wallet. And look, that's exactly what we snatched. You know that's not what the captain meant. Hey, speak of the devil. For real? Hello, this is Ichiban. You're slow. I told you to pick up within two rings. Sorry, Captain. Don't tell me you're still out there doing collections. Just finished up the last one, sir. I'm about to head back to the office. That'd be great. Except right now, you should be with the young master. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'll be there as fast as I can. What good is that? He still has to wait for you. Why are you always slow as shit? I'm sorry, sir. Just move your ass. And don't take him anywhere dumb or dangerous. If anything happens to him under your watch, I'd have to kill you a thousand times. Yes, I know that, sir. So you gotta go play chaperone to the young master? Yeah, damn it. I can't believe I forgot. Me too. Take this back to the office for me. Oh, no. I'm not gonna be the one to hand this in to the captain. You just let me know when the young master lets you off your leash. I'll kill time until then. <laughs> so your buddy has no spine whatsoever, apparently. 
Okay, so we do have full health again. All right, I was wondering about that. See there in the bottom right. Heading over to the next uh, young master character. Yes. Am I taking the taxi? Need to get the young apartment complex. Well, I guess that's my only choice. <laughs> I mean, have you seen Masato Arakawa? I'm very sorry, but I haven't seen him today, sir. Oh, damn it. <laughs> sorry I'm late, young master. Something came up while I was doing collections. Anything else you want to announce? I expected to be a kid. This one surprised me as well. This game surprised me a lot today. Sorry. Did you forget what day it is? Uh, of course not. It's Yumino-san's birthday, right? You didn't come without a gift, did you? No, I brought something. It's just, I didn't have much, so it's not the greatest. <laughs> Whatever. As long as you didn't tell Dad about this. You didn't. Did you? Of course not. If he asked where we went, just tell him we went shopping. Yes, sir. The old fool. He still treats me like a child. He's just I worried about you. a young master. You mean a lot to him. Don't talk like you know me. <laughs> Sorry. Club Zephyr? Yeah, yeah, what's up? <coughs> hey, it looks streets that are busier than cyberpunks. I'm fine. We're almost there. Wait, don't go in yet. Duck in here for a sec. Uh? Um, okay. Why are we in the alleyway? Of some type. Whoa. What the? What is that? The latest and greatest ephedrine injector. I had it imported. Uh, ephedrine? It's a specialized performance enhancer. It stimulates the sympathetic nervous system, so even someone with my condition will be able to stand and walk just like anybody else. The effect will be immediate, but it won't last more than a few hours. But how? How did you get something like that? Today is my woman's birthday. I can't embarrass her by going in there like this. That sounds crazy, though. Don't you think it's kind of risky? No. It just hasn't been approved for use in Japan. That's all. Injected here. Oh, I've got to inject him? None of this sounds good to me, young master. We don't really know what else it might do to you. You're a fucking wuss. Just 
gonna work. A nice subtle Your touch with a little red droplet of blood too. Your master! Your master! <laughs> able to stand up. Let's go. With an EpiPen? Hmm. Young master? Really don't understand his condition. Welcome! Welcome. Oh my goodness, are you all better? I can't believe it. Hey, where's Yumino san? Um, we'll call her as soon as we can. Soon as you can? You better mean now. Well, you see, she just sat down with another customer. She's been very busy today because it's her birthday. Hey! I just need a minute with him to explain our situation. Don't worry, I'll be nice. So where's this going? Something hey. wrong, sir? Yeah, where's you, Minasan? Again, I'm gonna butcher these names for anyone watching. I don't do it on purpose. I'm just not that good at that. Yumina-san is at that table over her. She must have left. I believe she got requested by another guest. We're rather busy today, mm -hmm. Kaguya san Is my son really healed? Er, it's complicated. Wow, does that mean you'll be released from indentured servitude? No. Oh, this guy's so nice. Dumbass. <laughs> I'm not some kind of slave. This is an important job. But isn't Matsu-san a civilian, so why would he need a Yakuza like you following uh. him around? No one asked you. Now where is Yama-san? You'd probably find her faster Go. if you look for her yourself. Is that how you treat your best customers? You know how many bottles we bought last week on Christmas? Technically, Matsu-san ordered them. <clears throat> Not you, right? Give me a break, man. Fine, I'll go look myself. I don't even know who I'm looking for. I can go find a chick that I don't know. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I guess I'm start talking to these. Not that it matters. Let's drink. Yeah. Maybe next time. All right. Seem nice. Is Yama son around? No. This is Yama Yamiko son. What, am I not good enough? Uh -huh. Apparently not, because you're not who I'm looking for. Oh, good timing. Can I get a hand towel? Sorry, I don't work here. Walk here. Oh, this must be her. Sorry it's so busy today. Nothing to be sorry about. If you didn't have customers on your birthday, I'd have to assume everyone else here was blind. <laughs> Who are you? Mm, well, um, how should I put this? I'm the young lady's escort for tonight. <laughs> Ichan, what are you doing? I believe this club is first come, first served. No need to make things complicated. 
Let's just say we came first and leave it at that. You understand. What the hell is this? Wait. I'd ask you the same. You're the one being unreasonable. What? I, I have reasons, so shut up! This is ludicrous. Ludo what? Great argument there, buddy. Normal ass words. You said you'd be civil. <laughs> You're causing a scene, you moron. Sorry. Please excuse my companion here. He's usually better behaved. I find that hard to believe. This place doesn't really do the first come, first serve thing. You see, in this industry, they can't treat every customer equally. The guys who spend big get better service. It's supply and demand, that's all. <laughs> that's so. Besides, that's my girl. I see. I knew you'd understand. Since I've disturbed you, would you let me buy you a drink? Pick anything you'd like, and don't worry about the price. No, thank you. I don't need a drink. <laughs> Not the drinking type. Well, then you'll be needing this to try your luck with another woman. I couldn't accept that. Please, I insist. Why insult me by refusing? How no, about... No, thank you. My position requires me to exercise some level of discretion when accepting gifts. Where do you position. get off acting so high and mighty? You've got guts. I'll give you that. What's your name? I suppose you won't stop bothering me until I show you. Huh. Tokyo Police Department. Unfortunately, I also have to be discreet about who receives my business card. <laughs> wow. Are you even allowed out this late? At a place like this? <laughs> no law against it. Now, why don't you take the lovely lady back to your seat already? Cheers! Cheers! I feel like that's gonna come back. Such fancy drinks, Yumeno-san. You spoil us. Thank you. Hey, aren't you thanking the wrong person? He's right. You two should thank the man who bought them. We're very grateful, Masato-san. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. I mean, it is the most expensive bottle in the house. Only natural they'd forget themselves a bit. How often do they get drinks like that after all? Young master, I'm sorry about all that earlier. That guy thinks he's too good to accept my generosity? Not like he can afford to as a cop. Does he come here often? No, this was his first time. So, Yumino-san, what did he get you for your birthday? Oh, stop. Just the fact that he's here is enough for me. Really. Oh, modest woman. Aw, you two are so cute. I'm jealous. I want a boyfriend like Masato-san. Eiji, show her yours first. Uh, sure. I, I'm not really used to this kind of thing though so just do it <laughs> sorry I know it's not much what is that uh, I had a lot of trouble figuring out what to get you and you're the young master's woman I, I mean his girlfriend so that's even harder but this was the most expensive one they had. I promise. 
What? No, it's just... <laughs> my mother has the exact same one! <laughs> hey, under the bus, hey, chick. Come on. <laughs> the name Ichiban means the best. But I guess there's no accounting for taste. <laughs> we should start calling him Ichiban. Am I right? <laughs> Masato-san, you're so clever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? Here. Necklace earrings. Oh, watch, I was off. Oh, wow! Whoa. No way! Is this real? That's my girl. I knew you'd appreciate its worth. How... how much was it? About the price of a condo. A high-end one. Not just some dump, of course. <laughs> well, thank you. I don't know how I could ever repay you. <laughs> don't worry about it. I guess my next gift will have to be an actual condominium. For us. Yubino-san, can I be at the front for a moment? <laughs> really? Can't you read a room, kid? Ichi, don't start another fight. It's the lady's birthday. Let her go. She's just in high demand. Right. Excuse me. I'll be right back. It's okay. Take your time. He's so nice! Well, back to drinking. You have a captive audience for all your bullshit stories. But I don't want to just talk. Let's do something more intimate. Well, we'd have to ask you, Mino. Oh, she'd kill us for sure. But I'd still enjoy being your girl while I could. Alrighty then. Man, the bathroom looks better than the restaurant. I think I had one too many. Some wingman I am. Horinouchi san, wait! Please, wait! I'm going home. I don't even want to breathe the same air as that punk. Who the hell is he? Masato-san? He's... well, he's the son of a Yakuza. How do you stand the man? Well, of course to you he's not a man. He's a big walking wallet. Stop! This is serious. It's starting to freak me out how much he spends and drinks. Just now he gave me something super expensive and said next time it'll be a condo. So? You could turn around and sell his trinkets the next day. And if he found out, what do you think he'd do to me? <laughs> Are you talking about violence? <laughs> At the first hint of that, I'll throw the bastard behind bars. Yes, I know you would. And you're right. I should sell it tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't think there were still idiots walking around believing money can buy them love. <laughs> All that matters is you're not one of them. Now get back out there and squeeze him dry. <laughs> okay. See you later. Wow. She's a bitch. <sighs> Come on, wash your hands. Okay, good. Young master, how long have you been there? Um, young master? So, 
Did you finish your business? I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass. Apparently, I think he heard what was going on. Wonder how long he can walk with. You should probably move a little faster. Yep. Let's meet up at Cedar Square and walk to the office. Sounds good. So where are we headed now? Cedar Square. I like the area at night better than I did in the daytime. With all the neon lights is pretty cool. Oh, oh, okay. Menacing men. Check this out. Come on now. That wasn't too rough there. So I'm gonna run into enemies now. I might as well fight while I can. Level up a little bit, get us some money. I'm assuming that'll be useful for something. I was a little worried when I saw him pull out the knife, but I guess that was not rough. Yep. I was waiting for you. Aniki, let's get back to the office. Alright, yeah, let's... And here we go to the next cutscene. What happened with that porn peddler? Sir, Aniki took care of him today. He won't ever pull that shit again without going through us first. Okay. And how much did you get from him? Uh, about that, uh... I gave the money back to the high schoolers who bought the videos. It was the fair thing to do, and the kids were grateful to our family. I see. And that debt we bought? Oh, yeah. Went off without a hitch. Here's the guy's wallet. Just as you requested, sir. <sighs> oh, all the money's there, including interest. Uh -huh. Where'd that come from? Wow, excellent work. Is that what you thought I would say? Good. This bill strap is from the young master's bank. Ichi, what's the real story? There, there is no real story. The young master gave that to me, I swear. He gave it to you? Or did you beg him for it to make quota? Begging for scraps won't fix your incompetence. I didn't beg! I have too much pride to pull something like that! You have pride? 
when you can't earn for the family? <laughs> What's that look? Pretending it didn't hurt. You don't even know pain. Not for a Yakuza anyway. A Yakuza takes real responsibility. Hey! Bring me the knife. Do it. What's wrong? You don't know how real Yakuza atone? Fine. I'll I think he wants me to cut his finger off. If you're lucky, it'll slip right between the joints for a clean cut. If you're lucky. <laughs> Good to see you, boss. Welcome back, boss. Welcome back, sir. Ichi, walk with me. Uh, yes, sir. You saved my ass back there. Can't you at least try to get along with Joe? Oh no, he hates my guts. Just because, well, I'm not much of an earner. Try putting yourself in his shoes. He's doing his duty as a family treasurer. Sure, I know that, but... It's like we just have different visions of what a Yakuza should be, you know? To me, it's more about duty and standing up for people. Not money. And it's okay to see things differently. That's the strength of the Arakawa party. S sorry, party? <laughs> it's not so different than those games you like, is it? Everyone has a certain skill they bring to the table. Some people are like you, charging in headfirst without a thought. Others cover your ass like Mitsu. And some are better at cracking the whip. That's Joe. All of these people keep the organization running. Yeah, and you're the king of them all. The king? <laughs> to me, all of you are more like sons than subjects. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, you looked after Masato today, right? Yes, sir. Sorry to keep asking you to help me with something so personal. How was he? F fine. That's good to hear. These days, he doesn't even answer my calls. I may be king of the Arakawa family, but to my other family, it's nothing but a title. <laughs> well, Ichibang, why don't we go get our last meal of the 20th century? Yeah, sure. Of course I'm gonna go eat a meal with you. I just got out of losing a finger. Did you see that? I guess nobody cares about PDA on New Year's. That reminds me. You find yourself a girl yet? No, sir. I'm like a reverse chick magnet. <laughs> Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Easy for you to say. You probably had girls all over you at my age. What? I won't abide such slander. No, oh, I... You use the past tense. Growing silver has only made me a bigger hit with the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of all the women over the years, there was only one. Just one I might have started a family with. Yeah? Yes. Masato's mother. Oh. I've never told you the details, have I? No, sir. I, uh, I do know that she passed away. Yes. Let me start on New Year's Eve 24 years ago. I was just a grunt in the Hikawa family, but the patriarch asked me if I'd marry his daughter. 
She was the young master's mother? Just listen. I love someone else. Her name was Akane. Uh-oh. What did... I was naive. <laughs> I thought if I ignored my boss's daughter, she'd get annoyed and dump me. The whole time, I was dating Akane in secret on the side. I remember the moment she told me she was pregnant. Oh, man. I knew right then what I needed to do. I had to step up as a man. Problem was, I couldn't find the right moment to tell the boss about Akane and our child. By the time I worked up the courage to tell him, Akane was almost due. So I got down on my hands and knees and told the boss I already had a girl. He didn't let you off easy, I take it. Oh, he had his guys beat the shit out of me. I entered the new year barely able to move. If only it could have been over and done with then. Huh? The boss gave an order to the family. An order to kill Akane. What? Kill her? Yes. I couldn't believe it myself. But he was serious. Even though we were a small family, we were very good at making people disappear. And when we killed, the body was never found. That's what was waiting for Akane and me. For bringing shame to the Patriarch. Uh, to this day, I have no idea how I got out alive. When I learned what was happening, I fled. I don't think they expected that after how badly they beat me. At the same time, Akane was at the hospital having the baby. <gasps> I called her and told her to leave as soon as possible. I knew Yakuza were already on their way to the hospital. So I made a plan. I told her we could meet at this cafe so we could skip town. Cafe Alps? Yes. I waited and waited, but she never came. But just as I was about to lose all hope, I got a call. Flashback time. Walking in. Hello. Where are you? I thought they caught you. Our, our baby is here. Huh? Our son. What? I, I got away, but they're not far behind. I... I have to keep moving! Where are you? I'll come get you! Shinjuku Station. Like the lockers. Okay, stay there. Try to blend into the crowd. Honestly, they're here. What do I do? Akane, they're looking for a woman with a baby. Hide him in a locker and walk out. Keep a low profile. What is our baby? Uh, don't worry. I'll come get him as soon as I can. Once you're in a safe place, call the manager at Cafe Alps. Tell him where you are. Now hurry. Put the baby in a locker. Okay. Take good care of him. Akane. Hey, there she is. That's her. Go, go, go. Hey! Akane! Where's the woman? Damn it! Where'd she go? Hurry up and find her! Shit! Play as him now? No?
Hold on! I'll get you out! What's going on? There's some crazy thing. Damn it! Open, you piece of shit! Open! Should we call the police? He's sleeping after all that racket. No way. Hey, are you okay? Damn it! Move! Move! I rescued our child and ran to a hospital. The doctor examined Masato and said he had multiple organ failure due to low body temperature. So that's why the young master is in a chair. Yes. It was that cold inside the locker. And apparently, if I had found him five minutes earlier, it could have prevented the complications. Boss, it wasn't your fault. I mean, you got there as soon as you could. I just want to apologize to you. You're burdened with Masato's care because of me. I don't think of it that way, sir. I never saw Akane again after that. She ran to a bar she knew, but the Hikawa family was already there. As I was taking Masato to the hospital, they were taking her away. They killed her. Oh. A few days later, the Patriarch and several of his men disappeared. The Hikawa family had ceased to exist. Wait. Did, Did you, you kill them all? Oh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> no controllers can... Oh, my controller turned off. That was a long cutscene. Sorry for rambling on and on. My apologies. There's something I've always wanted to tell you. Even if only by oath. I consider you a son as well. Oh, jeez, sir. That's... Well, enough gloomy talk. Let's eat, hmm? I'm starving. Me too. And they've been talking about food in this game so often, it makes me hungry. I wonder if maybe she actually got away. Well, seeing as I'm the king and all, how about we feast on the king of Chinese food? What could that be? Oh, gyoza! <laughs> no, not gyoza. Peking duck. Duck? Is that even edible? Mm hmm. The duck is dried in the sun, then roasted. And the skin comes out so crispy and delicious, you'll love it. You peel off the perfectly brown skin, wrap it in the seasoned dough. Then your mouth is filled with the sweet and spicy fragrance of the sauce. Damn, that does sound good. Yes, which is why in ancient China, only the imperial court ate it. Oh, so it really is the king of Chinese food. Yep, but I wonder if we can find it in Kamrochu. There's gotta be a place serving it somewhere. <laughs> so our new quest is to find Peking Duck. Thankfully we have a quest tracker that makes this a lot easier. 
I'm going into every single store. Not seeing any enemies while he's with me, I noticed. I guess they don't spawn whenever you have somebody with you. Ah, seriously? Hey! You guys open? We need pancake knock! Relax, Chiba. It's almost Chiba one is crazy. Uh, the like employees him. are probably at home waiting to ring it in with their families. Man, I really wanted to try it though. <laughs> Another time, I promise. Yeah? Thank you, sir. <laughs> that duck got lucky today. But he won't get away from us next time. <laughs> <laughs> Ichiban, what have I told you? Oh, sorry. Be careful where you laugh outdoors. The only time a Yakuza should laugh with his teeth is when he's with family or when he's in deep shit. I know. Right. Reputation is everything for a Yakuza. Got it, sir. Well, since we missed our shot at the duck, shall we go to our usual Oden place? <sighs> Sounds good. Good luck, Super Delta. Now, what's wrong, Ichi? You look like you're about to shit yourself. Fuck off. Don't you stop by to help out at home every now and then? Uh, not for a while, I guess. You should treasure the place where you grew up. It's not like it was the most normal place for a kid to be. No matter how it happened, home is home. One day you won't be able to go back, you know. Twenty-three years ago, on January 1st, I came into this world screaming inside this sleazy soap land. My mom worked at soap lands. A lot of backstory in this. Then she disappeared. I didn't know that till I was older, when Dad told me. I say dad, but we weren't related by blood. He was the owner of the soapland that took me in. Don't know who my other dad is. Probably some guy who dropped in for a wham bam thank you, ma'am. Hey, can someone keep an eye on Ichiban? Oh, come here, Ichi. Hey, it's my turn to hold him. I was raised by this city's working class folks. According to society, all those people who raised me are scum. Well, I suppose that would make me scum too. What? N never! You're everything I want to be. You're like a god. <laughs> so, first I'm a king, and now I'm a god? When I met you, I had just graduated middle school. After my foster dad died, I dropped out of school and just started drifting. 
Just picking fights. Shaking people down for easy money. But karma always catches up to a dumbass punk. Eventually, I beat up the wrong guy. A Yakuza. So, yeah. His crew locked me in a Yakuza office and beat the shit out of me. I thought I was a goner, but I made one last ditch effort to live and yelled out a name. Arakawa. What? The Arakawa family. If you kill me, they'll hunt every last one of you down. In those days, the name Arakawa the Assassin was like a whispered threat. I didn't give a shit about Yakuza or who they were at the time, but I knew that name. I thought if I name-dropped them, maybe they'd freak out and let me live. You're saying you're Arakawa? A kid like you? But my plan backfired. Big time. Turned out, these guys were in a huge turf dispute with the Arakawa family. One of your little brats damn near beat my boy to death. Says his name's Ichiban Kasuga. Well, he ain't getting away. Not in the sorry state we put him in. You want him back, you better send Patriarch Arakawa personally. I knew the jig was up. I'd never even met Arakawa, so obviously he wasn't gonna come. Maybe we ought to just kill him, Onigi. Arakawa ain't gonna show his face to pick up his trash. Looks like you're shit out of luck, you little brat. <gasps> Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa-san! The little fuck damn near took our guy out! We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation! Somebody's gotta take responsibility! I see. Excuse me? Well... How about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? I'll just borrow this. Right then. Let's go, yellow shit. So that's how he got into the family. Uh, I. What? You. You saved my life. Why? How can I thank. <laughs> Save your blubbering gratitude. That finger wasn't for you. I'm a Yakuza. For us, reputation is everything. My face, my name, they mean something. What do you think it would have meant if I begged them to betray you? The whole Arakawa family would have paid for it. If a Yakuza shows weakness, he's done. I did the only thing that would preserve my family's cred. Not the only thing. You could have just said you didn't know me. Why not do that? Why not, indeed? Maybe I wanted to make an impression on a kid who knew my name. <laughs> and at that moment, I saw my life's path ahead of me. It was following this man. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Back the fuck up! <laughs> How many times I gotta say this? We got no cups for punks like you. Never mind the kid, Joe. I didn't care how often they ignored me or what they said. I stood outside that office every day. In the pouring rain. 
under the scorching sun. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Who's he? You know him? Go on ahead, Masato. Kid, the Yakuza isn't something to aspire to. Haven't your parents explained that to you? I don't have parents, sir! I had a foster dad, but he's dead now! Come on. Sir! It been 100 days since I'd met Arakawa-san. Definitely determined. For sure. I can see how he felt like he owed him something. He did save his butt. Man, that Odin is always so freaking good. Thanks for treating me, boss. Sure thing. Hey, it's almost time for the countdown. Hey, stop it! You came here alone on New Year's Eve. That means you're looking for one thing. Leave me alone! Quit acting like you're too good for us. Let's have some fun. Sometimes it's the scum of society that has to do the cleaning up. Hey! A new century is about to start, and I know you don't want to spend the first week lying in a hospital bed. Get out of here before an old man has to crack some skulls. The hell you say? Keep out of this. Who the fuck are you? Tojo clan, Arakawa family. Now get your drunk asses away from the lady here. Time to go home and listen to the New Year's bells like good boys. Hold on, are you guys Yakuza? <laughs> They've gotta be. Look, he's got the hair and everything. Yeah, plus they're wearing costumes straight out of a Mafia movie. You fuckers better not be making fun of us! Hey boss, leave this to me! It's been a few years since I saw you fight. Hopefully you're stronger now. <laughs> Just wait till you see what I can do. Oh, we're gonna get to fight again? I feel like it's been a while. Let's see what we got. Come on now! Check this out! Cool! Come on now! Check this out! There we go. Who is this guy? He's crazy. You okay, miss? <laughs> Get away from me! Hey, come on. At least thank the boss. It's fine. Just forget it, Ichi. Remember, we're Yakuza. Yeah, I get it. Now then, I'll see you later, Ichi. You better show up at the office next year. <laughs> Wouldn't miss it for the world. Good night, boss. <laughs> you too. Man, he's such a badass. Now, I wouldn't mind another drink.
base back in 2001. Wow. 20 years ago. A little bit more than 20 years ago. Super beer. All right. Sir, you have to wake up. Wake up, now. <clears throat> oh shit, I fell asleep. It's dangerous to fall asleep outdoors, you know. Can I see identification? Uh, identification? Yes, like your license. A violent crime was committed out here recently. It's gone. Oh, you see why you shouldn't sleep out here? You need to file a stolen item report now? I'm busy, so you'll have to go down to the station. Hi, boss. First of all, Happy New Year. Sorry to call you first thing in the morning, Ichi. No problem. I'm up and ready to seize the day. Can you come by the office? Sure thing. You want to go out for the first shrine visit of the year? No. Just come to the office. Try to be inconspicuous. Uh, okay. You got it. That sounds ominous. Guess to the office we go. First officer. I'm just gonna run into everything apparently. Hold up. What family are you from? Arakawa. And don't you forget it. Oh, yeah, asshole? How about you don't forget your place? Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are Four you? Of them. The Sakaki family, dumbass! <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, they all have knives. That's, that's even better. Cool. Come on now. Check this out. Two down. Beating them with a gun. Nice, nice. And we leveled up. <laughs> Level four. Fuck you. You're gonna regret this. What the hell no, is that about? No, I really don't. Probably nothing. We've always got some kind of beef with the Sakaki going on. Oh shit, that took a while. Gotta head into the office. It's me, Ichiban. Boss? Good morning. Oh, Ichi. Have a seat. Sir! Somebody's been up all night. 
Stop. Just sit down. Uh, sure. You know the Sakagi family, right? You mean the family we've been fighting with? Hmm. We're fighting them because of a rumor that they're connected to the Omi. But aren't the Omi all the way out in Kansai? Yes. They control the entire region. They're much bigger than most people realize. The Tojo clan has butted heads with them for years. It's a bitter rivalry. And what? The Sakaki family's cooperating with them? No. The Sakaki family isn't stupid enough to commit outright treason. But they have been selling intel to the Omi for some quick, easy cash. <sighs> I confronted them about it at an officer's meeting. But their patriarch pretended not to know anything. Bastard traitor. Long story short, they don't like us much right now. But at the same time, they still report directly to our main family. So we need to be careful. We don't want to cause the main family any trouble. That said... Did something happen? Two hours ago, I got a call from Joe. He... He shot a Sakaki Yakuza. Really? Apparently, he just happened to run into one of them. They were both alone. No other men. It was one on one. They talked shit to each other for a bit. Then... Joe pulled his gun. Luckily, no one saw them. But the police have already found the other guy's body. It's only a matter of time before they raid our office. <sighs> if word gets out that our captain killed someone from a family above ours, it will be considered mutiny. We'll be expelled from the Tojo clan, and our tiny family will go up in smoke. You see why I can't let Joe get arrested for this. Ichi, would you be willing to take his place? Are you serious, boss? I mean... I've been waiting for a shot like this. This is my chance to finally repay my debt to you. After everything you've done for me. Let him lock me up for 10 or even 20 years. I'd be happy to do it for you. Ichi. Hey, me too. Thanks. Good job surviving another year. <laughs> we made it to a new century. Oh, yeah. Guess so. Damn, you sound pretty bored for a birthday, boy. What's up with you? Hey, you going to your first shrine visit of the year? How about we do Kamaro again? You do it, and have a good time. I'm not going. Huh? Why not? Something came up. Captain Sawashiro spring something on you? Yeah, basically. Man, New Year's barely begun and he's already working you like a dog. No holidays for the Yakuza. We work 365 days a year. So you're gonna be busy all day? Me too. How old are you right now? Uh, 20, if you really want to know. Why? So in 10 years, you'll be 30. In 20, you'll be 40. 
Great math, dude. What are you getting at? <laughs> Just eat well and live life to the fullest, man. Um, you feeling okay? <laughs> I'll call you later. All right. So I guess we're turning ourselves in for a murder. For my last meal, let's go with a beef bowl. Alright. Well, I don't think I can run that way. One down. Oh. <laughs> nice. more than one beef bowl, dude. Might be my last meal as a free man for a while. Screw it. Yo, hit me with one more! Huh? <laughs> sure. Coming right up. Another beef bowl! It pains me to say this, Ichi, but you've been banished from the family effective last month. What? I'm banished? If only he'd been from a family outside the clan, I could have merely expelled you. But this man, not only was he Tojo, he reported directly to the main family. But being banished, doesn't that mean I can never come back? Don't worry. I'll be working on that personally. I'll have the whole thing reversed by the time you get out of prison. Thank you, boss. And perhaps banishment will work in our favor. The court will go easier on you now that you're just a civilian. <laughs> Let them do their worst. I can handle a few years in the can. Savor every last moment, don't you? <laughs> While eating a beef bowl? For sure. <laughs> Enough stalling. Come back soon. Did you ever find your wallet? Well, if not, you might as well file a theft report inside. <laughs> we find the defendant, Ichiban Kasuga, guilty of murder. He is hereby sentenced to 15 years in prison. Okay, I guess we're gonna save for chapter two. The Bloody Reunion. Two thousand and two, that's only been a year. 
Oh, we're still in prison. Chopsticks? my quota for the day. May I take a bathroom break? Very well. This might be bad. This is definitely bad. So, where in the yard is he used to be Tojo Clan? You think you can be the perfect little prisoner and get back on the outside quick and easy? Idiot, you're a murderer. You could act like a goddamn angel in here, but you won't be getting parole for at least ten years. So I'd say it's in your best interest to get along with us. <sighs> Not much to say, huh? <laughs> hey, what family were you in? That's a simple enough question to answer. Right. <gasps> the Arakawa family. Arakawa? <laughs> You mean that little after-school club of a family? Oh man, this is such a letdown. Here I was thinking we had a real gangster in the house. What did you just say? I said your family's a bunch of small-time punks. Your patriarch may have been Arakawa the assassin once, but that was a long time ago. I heard he's gone fucking soft now. You got locked up for that washed up has been, and you think it means something. Oh, that's so fucking cute. Bastard. I'll kill you! Try your best, little bitch. Oh, you fucking. Would have liked to have been able to try to fight back during that. Why'd you suddenly fight back? You took it for a whole year. Those guys had to be taken to the police hospital for crying out loud. You knocked all their teeth out. They were talking shit about my boss. Your patriarch waiting for you on the outside? Yeah. They were calling him a nobody, saying all this bullshit about him going soft. I couldn't just let that stand. <clears throat> well, what's he gonna say when he hears the bad news? He won't hear it. That's why he beat their sorry asses. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your sentence getting extended. I don't understand why anybody commits murder in the first place. But if there really is someone out there waiting for you, you should behave yourself. When someone believes in you, try not to disappoint them. a bit harsh. Fifteen years. 
years later. Number 1119. Letter for you. Apparently it's from someone important. <gasps> it's from Harakawa-san. Dear Ichiban, I wanted to avoid writing to you while you're in prison, but today my brush just called to me. If your sentence hadn't been extended, I would be planning your big welcome back party right now. I can't tell you how sad I am that I can't do that. The days have been so lonely without you. After in the office, but I always turn around and see that nobody's there. Only a parent knows how truly empty a home can feel. Parents are nothing without their children. <laughs> 2019. I'm anxiously waiting for the day when I will turn around and see your laughing face. P.S. The day you get out of prison, let's get that picking duck we missed. Boss, I'm so sorry! When I got into that fight, I wasn't even thinking about how long you had already been waiting for me. An extra three years I made you wait just because I did something stupid! I'm sorry I failed you. I held you up for so long, but I'm out now. I'm finally back! That's harsh. Nobody's there. Did you not know they've gotten more strict about enforcing the anti-Yakuza laws? It shouldn't surprise you that bosses aren't pulling up in fancy cars at prisons anymore. In the letter, he said he'd come for me. Not gonna happen. Just too dangerous these days. Yeah. Thanks for everything. You really thought the welcome wagon was coming. Hmm. Uh, of course, you being in the slammer for 18 years, only natural you'd be a bit mixed up. <laughs> Gotta say, that's some deep loyalty you've got, waiting for a boss that never even visited you. Who the hell are you? Kanagawa police. A detective? I uh, used to be. Now I'm just a washed up DMV grunt, one year shy of retirement. What's a guy from the slowest apartment ever doing here? Come to remind me to renew my license? Is that a service you offer nowadays? I'm here because I have real business with you. You, the murderer who shot a man on the last night of the 20th century. Heck, I even used some precious PTO to be here today. Ah, uh, well, sorry to disappoint you, but I don't plan on being a repeat offender. That's what everyone thinks when they get out. 
The moment they set foot on the other side of this fence. Shove it up your ass. You don't know shit about me. You were born and raised in Kamarocho, after being abandoned at the famous Shangri-La Soapland. The owner, Jiro Kasuga, took you in. Then he and his prostitutes raised you. Well, after that, it's by the book. You dropped out of school, committed multiple offenses of shoplifting and assaults, then finally joined the Yakuza at age 16. Oh, you had a largely unremarkable career as a member of the Tojo clan's Arakawa family. Well, until the night you killed an officer higher up on the food chain. Then, January 1st, 2001, you turned yourself in at Kamaro Police Station. Then, you were sentenced to 15 years at this prison. After getting an extra three years tacked on for bad behavior, we finally arrive at today, where you were just released about three and a half minutes ago. That about sum it up. Wow. You're my biggest fan for sure. You want an autograph <laughs> to show your DMV friends? Oh. I just do my homework. Great. Ichibon is definitely grown on me, guys. I don't care why you're here. Just get out of my way. There's somewhere I need to be. Oh, paying a visit to the Arakawa family? It ain't none of your business. Just leave me alone. Oh, but actually, it is my business. It very much is. Nothing personal, of course. Now, you're free to go wherever you feel like, but I'm coming with. What? Are you serious? What? Whatever. Do what you want, man. cop is a little confusing. I want to get a haircut. Uh, miss, I don't want to insult you, but... Uh, uh, what did you do to my hair? I, I tried. It's just when you asked for a punch perm, I had to look it up. The, the truth is, I've never done one before. Uh... How am I supposed to face the boss with a rat's nest on my head? <laughs> I kind of like it. You going for, man? Shut up. I just ended up with a bad barber is all. The hell's your deal anyway? You really gonna just keep following me? <laughs> I told you, I have business with you. But I'm waiting patiently for you to take care of yours. So, what's next? You're creeping me out, man. Give me a break. Chikao Suzumori's grave, huh? Hold on. Isn't he the guy that was killed 18 years ago? Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Okay, so... Who killed him? You're looking at him. <laughs> Get real. You think I'm joking? Uh, let me ask you this then. Why'd you kill him? I'd been banished from the Arakawa family, and I just... I, I was so mad, I just did it. You killed someone just because you were pissed off. What are you, a schoolboy with daddy's gun? Nah, you ain't that immature. Now, if I were you, I wouldn't be visiting the guy's grave. How do you even give a shit, huh? I know that 18 years ago, Suzumori was shot and killed. But not by you. And yet... You turned yourself in to save your family. I mean, everyone knew you didn't do it. The director of criminal affairs, the judge, jurors. Come on, Kasuga. You served your time. Why are you still lying? Who really killed him? Me. I did it. <laughs> well, you're a real piece of work. 
Well, you're a big pain in my ass. When are you gonna drop the act? What I act? The detective shtick. Why are you following me around? There's no way an old fart one breath away from retirement suddenly decides to babysit an ex-con. Who are you really? What the hell's your angle here, man? My angle. <laughs> I wonder well. if he's related to the dead guy. is Arakawa-san, isn't he? Why are you asking? Who the hell are you? You some kind of reporter? We don't do media, so get out of here. Go on, beat it. You don't understand. I used to be a member of the Arakawa family. If you were from the family, then we would know who you are. I've been in prison for 18 years. I just got out today. <laughs> if you're gonna lie, you're gonna have to do better than that. Just let me talk to Arakawa-san. You'll be glad to see me, so let me through! Hey! Hold your horses there, dumbass. You don't know what you're dealing with. Yeah, they're busy visiting an important grave today. Go on! Get out of here! I didn't do 18 years for this shit. Step aside. If you don't, they're gonna have two more graves to visit today! Well, he's a little hot-headed, that's for sure. Getting away with this? Oh, you want some more? Enough! Kasuga! Hey, fellas, we're sorry, okay? Now, my friend here, he's. he's a little crazy, that's all. What the hell you say about me? Look, I'll give him a good talking to. Sorry about all this. We'll get out of here. Let go of me, damn it! Don't you get it? That's my boss! Boss! Horikawa-san! It's me! I got out today! It's Ichiban! Ichiban Kasuga! He recognized me. You were gone for 18 years. Isn't it possible he forgot who you were? Uh, no way! He didn't forget me! I mean, shit! He sent me a letter in prison! I'm sure he just didn't hear me. He's older, you know? His ears are starting to go and his eyes, too. Well, he definitely heard you. Pretty sure your eyes met, too. No, he didn't! I understand it's a hard thing to accept, Kasuga. But take a hint. Best case scenario, he simply forgot about you. If he does actually remember you, then clearly he doesn't want to talk to you. There's just no way! I know the problem. What now? Think. Why would he be here? 
Visiting a grave, probably. Exactly. Visiting Susamori's grave. And I bet if he saw me standing right next to it, he'd recognize me on the spot. Yeah, all I gotta do is make sure he sees me right here, and... Hey, look at that. He's, uh, definitely visiting a different grave. Which one? That's... That's the former Omi Chairman's grave. The Omi Alliance? The Yakuza who run Kansai? Why would he visit that grave? And with so many guys? It's a logical thing for him to do, since he's an Omi officer. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Listen here, old-timer. Those guys we just finished fighting said they were Arakawa. Didn't you hear them? Well, the Arakawa family is from the Tojo clan. Tojo clan! Everyone knows they've been at war with the Omi for ages. <laughs> you must have been a pretty shit detective, huh? <laughs> the Arakawa family isn't Tojo anymore. Huh? What did you just say? Masumi Arakawa. He's the second in command. But that can't be true. I knew you wouldn't believe me. But think about it. Arakawa was the patriarch of a third string family. Not the greatest position, but the tides changed for him two years ago. You see, the newly elected governor of Tokyo promised to scrub the city of crime. He started with targeted attacks on all Tojo's sources of funding. He called it the Kamurocho 3K Plan. The hell's that? An anti-Yakuza policy. Keep them hungry, keep them poor, and keep them out. 3Ks. The police started raiding major Yakuza families with surgical precision. Family officers were being arrested one after the other. There was just one exception. The Arakawa family. Huh? Ugh, that shouldn't come as a surprise. The reason the police were able to destroy the Tojo clan so fast was because they had inside it from the Arakawa family. Basically, Masumi Arakawa sold out the Tojo clan to the cops. No, he wouldn't! <laughs> I'm not even finished with the story yet. With the Tojo clan almost completely wiped off the map, the Omi seized the opportunity and poured their guys into Kamurocho. And you know what the cops did? They looked the other way. Arakawa must have slipped them a little something under the table. Like what? I'm talking about a bribe, dumbass. Arakawa slipped the police some cash so they would ignore the Omi Alliance's expansion. And that's how they took control of Kamurocho without spilling a single drop of blood. To pay back the favor, they welcomed Masumi Arakawa into their organization as the acting captain. Meanwhile, in the eyes of the Tojo clan, Arakawa had committed high treason. So what little of the Tojo remains will occasionally attack the Omi, but it's pitiful. I'm sorry. Sorry again, I haven't been talking much. There's you been a lot of. Don't let it get you Prologue down. and story in this I thought it would be only fair for everybody. You, okay? you feeling all right? Nothing is fucking all right! Yeah, didn't think so. Harakawa-san defecting to the Omi? The Tojo clan is gone? You know what? You're a fucking terrible liar! So you don't believe me? No way in hell it went down like that! Harakawa-san was like the walking image of duty and honor! You saw him! He was visiting an Omi grave. Think about that. That wasn't Arakawa-san! I haven't seen the guy for 18 years, so how am I supposed to recognize him? Now that I think about it, that guy wasn't even wearing clothes that Arakawa-san would wear! <sighs> you do recall the men you fought and identified themselves as Arakawa. Yeah. I... We must have misheard him! Where are you taking me anyway? This isn't the way to Kamurocho! We're going to Yokohama. 
What? No, I need to get to Komarocho! I told you, there's nothing for you there. But come with me to Yokohama. As I've said, two of us have business. What business? An investigation. You are gonna help me with it. Oh, fuck off! Why should I help you with anything, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think you had a choice in the matter? Soon we'll be in Kanagawa Prefecture, my jurisdiction. Now calm down, and let's have some peace and quiet, hmm? You know what? Stop the car right now, or else I'll fuck you up! Hey, Kasuga! If you won't come the easy way, I can make up a reason to do it the hard way. You want that? Oh, now the threats are starting, huh? Well, at least they make you seem like a real cop. Oh, is that right? Yeah, like any dirty cop, you're coming up with some bullshit story to trick me. So what is it you want? For me to do some of your dirty work? I can see right through you, fucker. What family in Yokohama are you from? Wow. I showed you my badge, remember? But I guess there's no cure for stupid. Ha! <laughs> you think I'm gonna fall for that bullshit? Hey, what do you think you're doing, you idiot? Where do you think you're going? Come Wherever he wants. Obviously. Were you even listening to me? You really need to drop the detective act already. It's obvious you're a Yokohama Yakuza. And hey, at least I'll get one hell of a story out of this, how I nearly got kidnapped right out of prison. Oh, you are such a dumbass. I have to go find Arakawa-san now. He's somewhere in Kamurocho waiting for me. Look, thanks for testing my instincts after I was in the joint for so long. Now see ya. I promise, Kasuga. There's nothing left for you in Kamrocho. Oh, damn it. I thought shit might go sideways. Guess he has to see it for himself. Definitely feel like there's more to this. Definitely a culture shock after 18 years. It's really Kamaruchi, but everything's so different now. First things first. Need to stop by the office. Alright guys, at this point I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. I will be back tomorrow at 11 if anybody would like to check out the stream. Um, again, it's been fun. I hope everybody is enjoying this. Uh, so far I'm really enjoying the storyline and I plan on going all the way through it with you guys. Everybody have a wonderful day, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.